We're almost at the theater now. The metro entrance should be pretty close. But however small the distance is, we'll have to cover it on the surface. And there, every step you take could well be your last. Chuvak, we're here. Pull yourself together. We don't have long before nightfall. Okay? Okay, with the tunnel collapsed, the only way to reach the escalator down to the other station is cross the surface. And trust me, we don't want to be caught out here in the fucking dark. Opa, we're in luck, Artyomich! This place seems lived in. Rangers probably, I don't know. And when there are rangers? Shit! Short on filters. We'll have to make do. Now come on, take what you need. We're all brothers in the metro. Hey, Prieti, I could use a good watch like yours. Knowing how much air you got left is a must, huh? We have no further business here. Let's move forward. You know, I've heard of things roaming around that even bullets can stop. You have been through some bad shit, I know, but not like what's coming. Artyom, remember, if you want to live, don't drop your guard for an instant, okay? I heard about this place. That plane was headed into Moscow when the whole city caught fire. Uh, the building where it crashed, that's the entrance to the theater. The ice is towing up here. It's almost like spring, huh, Artyomich? Maybe we'll live to see the summer. Wait, 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 wait. There's got to be an underground path somewhere around here. The rangers would never go to square out in the open. Okay. We could walk down the wing here. Okay, so much for the sun. Those clouds moved in fast. I think I'm gonna be sick. Tread carefully. They say these tunnels shelter more than just mutants. A good communist doesn't believe in souls, Artyom. But this fucking place of death makes me, uh, wonder. Let's go out to the light. Check that service room.
You okay, Chubak? You're all covered with blood. I jumped. Okay, made it past. Where do we go from here? Let's look for a passage through the plane. Oh, I've heard stories about this place. Weird shit happens here. Hey, try opening it. I'll give cover. Jumped? Oh, bleh, let's try together. Look, Artyom, don't lose your head in here. You understand me? Okay, let's go. One ranger told me this was a flight from Mallorca. Family is returning from vacation, you know? You know, Artyom, I've never been to the sea. Or even on a plane, myself. Yeah, well, wasn't meant to be. I feel... I don't know, I feel... Yeah. What happened? What the hell was that? Shit! We're losing power! Engines are dead! Oh, tower! Flight 76705 here! What was that? Ask them! Shit! The tower's gone! Donna! We're going down! Speed! What's the matter? I can't get anything! Oh my god! Shit! Shit! Give me a What's going on here? Someday a creature like you will take me. Not yet. Okay? Cool. Looks like that was all of them.
fucking watchman. As soon as we moved away from the plane and we were almost there, huh? Get ready! We're moving in from the second floor! We have to move, now! Follow me, faster, faster! Come over here! Go! Give me a hand! Faster! More are coming! Bulia, you gotta find the entrance! Above you! Shit! Too many of them! We have to warn the station! Get to the escalator! Hurry up! Now! Move down! They're still after us! Follow me now! My filter is almost dead! There you are! Open up! Open up! We have never seen you! Bastard! Phantom of the past is over. Pavel and I helped each other out again and are returning down to the metro as real partners now. You can't survive the wastelands any other way. But now ahead of us lies a populated station, the theater. It's very close to Polis. If Pavel manages to lead me through the red line guard posts, I'll be home in less than an hour. Okay, come on in. Sorry about that. Dangerous times, right? We're going up soon. Are there many watchmen around? We were lucky to get here. Okay, there's a nest in the building by the wrecked plane. Man, no wonder he's such a bad dream today. Oh, you want a nightmare? Well, it's waiting for you up there. No sense going with just three men. To clear a nest, we need a couple squads at least. So what now? You're not going? Gather them in first. We're waiting for the guys. On their way. Then we'll give the beasts some help. <laughs> Artyomich, so, if it's culture you want, the Bolshoi is up there above us. All the actors who survived are here. Oh, people come from all over the metro to see the shows they put on. Last time it was our neighbors. This time it's us. Would be long before Fiora so, has that's our plan. The station, the station next Wait to this here, one please. is Revolution Square. One of ours. Red. And Revolution is spitting distance to police. So, I, as a good communist, which I am, will vouch for you. They'll have to let you through. And you'll be home in no time. What do you think? Are you the one they just told us about? Yes, we are. Great. Come in then. So, my Spartan friend, have a look around. There's plenty to see here, huh? I'll talk to my people and find you. Have a good rest. Bullets to the last surviving theatrical critic. Bullets myself. for mercy on your soul. And party lights, when all around us radiation, death, decay, and endless war. 
Wow. That is a really When did you come back? Is it something new? When? Where's Vitya? Why didn't he come over at once? Mushrooms with mushroom sauce. Hey, keep your hands out of the pot, or you're getting smacked in the head. Why? What happened? Vitya didn't make it. How? We were heading back. A demon appeared. We all hit the ground and shot at the demon until it fled. No one suffered the scratch. But Vitya didn't get up. His mask, it had cracked open on a brick. And you, you left him there to die. No, Katya, we tried to save him. But it was too late. No, Vitya. <laughs> we buried him there. A good place. We put white stones on the grave. Let her be. Just like the a real demon. thing. A demon! Look at it flaps its wings! Yeah, it's attacking! No, Dad says it flaps its wings like this and taking chest. off. Give and my dad saw lots of demons. Of We're happiness. right, Uncle Misha. This is a demon? Well, Hurry. it's... There are only so many tickets! All right. Let it be a demon. So, Nikita, when do we become your own father? Have you got enough money to last a week? Salah regular, Salah small, so well. Two days, baby. Then my life is over. But it took so long to save up. Oh well. Good riddance. At least I had some fun in the end. What? You give up already? Shit, these bullets are still good. Still make it to Despite being hemmed. Look. I got money for three days. Well, the cases ain't new, but these are well made. Yeah, best stopping power of them all. Simply the best. You really should buy some of these. These are great. Buy them before the prices go up. Good luck. Come again. Throwing knives, silent and leather, best leather goods, original designs, low prices. Protect yourself by a gun. Grenades, affordable and serious firepower. This is great stuff. The best you'll find. I don't know. It's prohibited. Maybe I'll just get a drink instead. You can drink anywhere. This is Well, Artyom, I made all the arrangements. We can go to the revolution now. They will let us in. Well, come back if you need anything. for self-defense. What I like about a shot is that you can basically convert it into a long shotgun with add-on stock and other stuff. The revolver is precise and it packs a punch. The rangers often use these. Buy this and you'll never have to fear bandits anymore. It packs one hell of a punch and is very stealthy if you use a silencer. Great choice! Ammo and gear for sale! Bullets exchange! Well, happy self-defense. Bullets and other stuff. Best prices around, I promise. You already have too many. Well, good luck. You're always welcome. 
Wait a minute, I gotta think. If you'd be so kind, the can can. witnessed anything like this before. I feel sorry for the other performers now. Their attempts at impressing the audience might fall short after such a spectacle. But <laughs> I trust they will handle the race far of our expectations. And thus, our incredible show continues. This man spits in the eye of danger, challenges nature, defies the god of his new world, and proves once again that humanity is a master of all. A warm welcome for Leonid Burley, our animal trainer extraordinaire, with his, uh, terror of our city. <laughs> Impressive victory as human intelligence triumphs over the mutants. Speaking of mutants, even our station has heard the rumors of new species that were encountered at exhibition. Fearsome beasts, black as midnight, invincible, able to induce madness in anyone who saw them. But even those were no match for human ingenuity. The guys at exhibition had noticed they were brewing the wrong mushrooms. <laughs> And they went back to the traditional recipe. The new mutants were gone like morning dew. <laughs> Let us cheer for the heroes at exhibition! And tonight's show goes on. It is time to bring a lyrical mood to our show. We give you the genius of chamber music. The famous accordion player, Kolya Pajarny, with his masterpiece, My Heart Reaches for the Sky, but hits the ceiling and falls down the bottle. A round of applause, please! My soul will never sound the same. Your music is touches strings with so much power. And 
And thus, our incredible show continues. Today, I have the honor of presenting to you the hottest, the most explosive act this side of Atlantic Ocean. The most scorching spectacle of today. Our fire show! A round of applause to welcome the performers. Please, please. Completely mind-blowing, incredible, simply incredible. If a tiny bit too hot, just a couple of degrees higher, and I'd be charmed. <laughs> thank you, dear friends, thank you. But I must say that however hot that was, the girls were a bit hotter still. <laughs> Guys, you've got to answer the challenge. Try using the flamethrower, perhaps. <laughs> And yet, we have more, dear audience. Please welcome the Arpeggio Virtuoso, the God of Legato, and Demon of Tremolo. The favorite student of Mel Bay and Vladimir Manilov, the premier guitarist of the New Age, Viktor Minchuk with his fantasies. Please welcome our Virtuoso. <laughs> ecstasy and my heart would ignite, my legs would start dancing, and my soul would go straight to whatever it's heading to. No, enjoy Thank the show. You, Victor. Sorry, man. Ladies Thanks and gentlemen, you I must announce a change in today's program. To our sincere regret, our visiting magician ran out of ladies for oh. a sawmill act. Father Peter <laughs> so glad to see you. But Never Where fear. Have been? We have filled you the gap like with greatness. Anymore? Your complete Here, attention, no, please, so I, as I present the birth of a legend. I'm very, very sorry. I'll come back soon. I promise. And the duet with their instrumental impromptu, the Song of Songs. A round of applause to cheer our great musicians on. <laughs> innovation of the century. 
Incredible. Completely incredible. My left ear is still ringing. <laughs> You've just heard the virtuosos of the Moscow underground. The duo known as Minchuk and Pozharny. Our dear audience. This sad moment always come, no matter how often we wish it would not. But our show for today is over. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have enjoyed your company. Thank you, and please come again. In your dreams, you have your own. Use that. Goodbye. Farewell. It's no good. Parting. Why can't your boyfriend buy you something better? Her boyfriend is cheap, that's why. No, he's reliable and doesn't waste his money. In that case, you should just marry him. He won't propose. He's too cheap for that, too. Fool. We're just testing our love. Yeah, yeah. And in the meantime, he made you some powder by scratching the ceiling. Refugees again. More refugees. What's going on? What else? Another war. Looks like the fucking commons are going to start the right again. Shit. Is war all they know? Instead of wasting ammo on each other, they could be wiping out the vermin. They don't give a shit about that. The Nosalis has butchered my father. Who cares? No one. So how are we supposed to live? Or raise our children? If the monsters don't kill them, other men will. This is what I'm saying. Why go on? Say that to me. Anyways, I tell you, we should be going, but uh, let's drain to the fact we are still alive, huh? It's on me, okay? Here you are, two of our specials from the old stock, been infusing it for half a year. Opa, that's great! So, let's drink, Artyom! Smooth stuff, huh? And this is a good place, but yeah, home is the best, you know? You know, I've traveled all over the metro and people talk all kinds of shit about the Red Line. That it's awful there, there's no food, that we shoot comrades for nothing, and you can't even tell a joke without getting arrested. Wait, let's have another drink. Here goes, Artyom! Here it is. Wow. So, <clears throat> yes? Our life is a bit strict. One party, one leader, one ideology, but we have order. And everything is shared. Food, medicine, fuel, shelter. No rich men, true. But no beggars either. Another drink. And now, to equality. Come on, Artyom. No, 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 no. Pay that now. Ooh, хорошо прошла. Ah, where was I? Ah, yes. Yes, look look at the far stations. They freaking eat each other. Sell their kids at slaves. It's like the Stone Age. Death to his own device as a man becomes a beast, you know? War there, war there is all that matters. That's that's our salvation. So you can believe whatever, but I am red. I am red until the day I die. I drink to order. Blin. Come on, Artyom, come on! Bottoms up! Bottoms up! So, my friend, that's how it goes. Don't be mad, Artyom. Just doing my job to protect the red line. And you, Musketeer, are from the wrong side of the barricade. Privates, take this comrade in. Yes, Major, sir. Yes, sir. Major. It is private. That was so stupid of me. I bought that talk of friendship. The stupid musketeer saying, Just you wait, and we'll get even. I wonder though, why did Pavel go through the trouble of trapping me? Move it! Hey, stop that, bleh! It's just being over enthusiastic, you know? Artyom, look, I think of you as my friend, really. 
But as a soldier, you understand that I had to follow my orders and bring you here, okay? Now you're under arrest, but perhaps it's not the end of the line for you. I hope. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. At ease, Tavarish. So, you're doing good here? Are you not? Yes, sir. Comrade Moskvin is here, inspecting the troops, sir. The Secretary General? Yep. What about Comrade Korb? Yes, sir. Comrade General is here, too. Opa, it's my lucky day, huh? Okay, things are moving faster than we anticipated. Move it! Let's go. You're a smart guy, so we understand there is no such thing as coincidence. You are here because we need you. Information. So, my advice to you, my friend? Come Okay? But don't worry, I got your back. Because we are what? Musketeers! All for one, and one for all. But your comrades in the order, their motto is all for us. War is coming, my friend. That bunker you guys found, whoever controls it survives and fuck the rest of us. But we have been preparing for this. And I want you to join us, Artur. Good day, Comrade General. Comrade Morozov, I was beginning to think you had not survived your mission. I was captured, Comrade Corbett. This stranger here, uh, saved me. What a coincidence. He's Nitsky, one of the Spartan Rangers. Do you know this man? Yes, sir. His name is Artyom. Miller trusts him. They found the six together. He's also earned several commendations since officially enlisting with the Order. Well, I am overjoyed to meet you, Comrade Artyom. I think we both have something to offer. Take the... Comrade to the negotiation room. Young man, let's dispense with the introductory probing and cut to the chase. Hmm? This telepathic mutant, the so-called Dark One, is of extreme scientific significance. Tell me all you know about it, and I will allow you to keep your life and your job with the Rangers. <laughs> but, as my spy, an operative, just like those uh, musketeers, one for all, and all for... Secretary General Comrade Moskvin. Corbut, I need a moment. And what do we have here? Another enemy of the revolution? <laughs> Perfect. As you have always noted, Lonya must start learning how to improve his uh, people skills. As a matter of fact, we were... Ah, put away your truth serums. I'll show you a more traditional Red Army method. Faster and more effective. You shit! Spill your guts now! Tell everything you know of these six! Huh? Oh. Fuck! Still nothing, huh? <laughs> Take it, bitch! You talk, or I'll fry your balls in pig fat! Passwords, code names, operation protocols! What are you doing, Dad? This is called interrogation, Lonya. Interrogation. Business as usual. What? You never did that playing dolls? No! You little shit! There's no power without blood! There is! Your brother ruled peacefully, and they still love him! Get back here! You're a thug! God damn it! Butcher. All right. Use your drugs. Use hot pokers. Just get everything out of him, and shoot the bastard! And then come to my office. We must talk. Come back here! You may be my son. Oh, I must agree with Leonid. Brutality is a crooked path to information. I believe in science. One injection and you will tell us everything.
I need you to go to Venice and take care of the locals who made the delivery. This will not be a cash payment. Understand? Completely, sir. And uh, what about the dark one? The creature has been located. The details are in this envelope. You will pick up the animal right after you go to Venice. Don't disappoint me this time. I won't, Comrade General. I, uh, I won't. Fuck Corbett! Fuck my father! And Morozov! And the revolution and my own future! I'd rather be shot and end up like father, killing his own brother! Listen, if you get out of here, just, well, just live! Here! Get in there! This is the way to freedom. Believe me, I know. Well, good luck to you! Let's talk. About the negotiations in Polis? Ah, so you already know. I am the head of intelligence after all. Then why did you let the information leak? Damned refugees. Polis, Hansa, and even the fucking Nazis already know about our plans. The rats will be exterminated. And war is inevitable anyway. Inevitable? I have my doubts. So does the Politburo. A doubtful man is a fearful man. How dare you! You're the head of state security, and you report to me! Yes, but now, when we are one step away from a unified Red Metro, you have no right to disrupt the plan. I have no right? I'm... Moscovin. When you asked me how to deal with your elder brother when he was still the Secretary General, I helped you. And after his tragic death, I bucked your takeover. So I suggest you take my advice again. This is unacceptable. It's very simple, Comrade Moskvin. We all stand together, arms linked against the wind. Or it's every man for himself. But, Corbett, is this whole fucking metro truly worth the blood we're going to spill? I have a way of doing it without spilling any blood. No blood, you say? All right. Go do your trick. I'll handle the police bureau. A frontal assault is hopeless. But if we go underground to the church, advance through the catacombs, then attack from the rear, we should encounter little or no resistance. Then we just have to do a sweep. Attention! Comrade General! Soldiers, you are trusted with an important mission. Each group has its task, and you have been told only what you need to know to succeed. But remember that this operation is top secret, and you must not be taken alive by the enemy. I hope that I am understood. Questions? Can we use radios after we capture the assigned targets? Only in case of emergency, and on a scrambled frequency. If we're faced with strong enemy counterattacks, do we hold the positions or fall back? Hold them. Anyway, the enemy is unlikely to mount an effective counteroffensive. Comrade General, we have been issued a banner along with the other gear, but we were also made to remove all our markings. We will leave no trace of our operation. Only upon victory and receipt of the following signal will you raise your banner over the captured targets. Further questions? No, Comrade General. Good luck then. Surrender! Surrender! Now I am in a real spider-infested catacombs, where the General Secretary Moskvin does not look like the head spider. That title clearly belongs to General Corbett. I sure would like to know what's on his mind. What did Lesnitsky bring him from D6? What's going to destroy the enemies of the revolution? Only questions and no answers. The only thing that is clear, 
Pavel has information on the Dark One, which makes him quite good. It yourself. I'll go stand there around the corner. Piss your pants already? <laughs> then watch a real man. Well, if you're a real man, why are your hands shaking? Hands don't mean shit. The important thing is nothing else shakes. Okay. Compose. Compose. you talking about the refugees? What refugees? Let the special department handle them. <coughs> talking <coughs> <really well. coughs> Tell them all. They multiply like crazy. So you go and do it. On the double. <coughs> <coughs> Catching a cold definitely seems a possibility now. Boys are sticking up caravans out there, and I have to just sit here. Huh?
Did you accept the delivery and sign the manifest? I sure did. Where did you put the goods? Wherever I had space left. <laughs> to stand here much longer. Yeah. We should be coming back from the war soon. Who's there? Spider. What the? How should I know? Look what the human is with a large bread. <laughs> when I lit the place up, there was nothing. Don't worry about it. Weird shit starts happening after a six hour watch. Maybe. But somebody is stealing the parts of food. Probably one of ours. Waiting till our backs are turned, then selling shit to Hansa. Either way, the brass better not hear you talking. If you say to me. Where the, the hell? Yeah. Who goes there? Are we going to
want to stand here much longer. down or your brain goes splat wait a minute artyom is it you <laughs> i was able to send the report back to the order via my old acquaintance andrew the blacksmith at least miller will know that i am alive that i haven't completed the mission but haven't resigned from it either That's one serious pickle you're in. But I can help. I have friends, and they have friends, who can relay everything you tell me to your guys from the Order. So, now you must return home to Polis? Well, there's no direct route. Everything's cordoned off here. But I believe the Order has an outpost nearby. On the surface. The church and the marshes. Try that place. If we can get word to your people, they might meet you there. As for me, I started life anew, left Kuznetsky most. The Reds completely subverted the place, looking for traitors and spies, sending people to camps, or just shooting them. All because of the coming war. People are fleeing from Kuznetsky most and their whole Red Line. Did you see the armored train the Reds are building? Well, we built something too, with the stuff the refugees are bringing. Here, take a look. At this baby, the boys even gave her a name. You can't help but fall in love with her. She did a swell job running refugees. But hell, you can't save everyone. So, take it. We have people in Venice, too. When you get there, find Woodpecker and tell him where you left our baby. Climb aboard! All right, start the engine. Come on. We're still tinkering with her, so the controls aren't perfect. But the lights are first class. No need to fear the spider bugs around her. And there's a lot of those in the far tunnels. You should go. It's a long way, so you shouldn't waste any time. Yeah. Thank you. 
Pavel's group is advancing towards Tretikovskaya, also known as Venice. They have a few hours lead on me and are moving via frequently used tunnels. But I will catch up. I can't afford not to. We're armed. We are armed. Swear by Lenin's name. He doesn't look like a GB. I don't recognize the uniform. Could he be one of ours? Look at all his weapons. Don't shoot. We are civilians. There are women and children here. Leave and let leave, okay? We're refugees from the Red Line. I'm in charge here, basically. No, there's nobody under my command. All the battle-worthy men went with the other caravan. Half a click ahead. I thought they'd protect us, but they were attacked. We heard the shooting. It subsided. But it doesn't look like our people survived. So we can't go any further. And if we go back, it's the firing spot for us. You look like you've seen your share of fights. Can you help us? It's not for me, but I pity the children. So what do we do now? How do we live without them? They might still be alive. Don't bury them yet. But the shooting... The shooting was this so This is just loud. a thing for bandits. And now there is You nothing. can't carry that much. And what if they won? Some buckshot in the gut Why? sure makes any bandit a dull boy. Us, buy some. They might come soon. Hey, come on, Let's buy just these. wait. can find them anywhere else. Do you think they... They killed come them again. all? Come again. These guys don't buy they anything. Don't or it could be worse. How? Women were with them. Yasha, if ignorance is bliss, you're the happiest guy around. So are we going to help our guys or what? What help can just the two of us be? If they're pinned down, we can flank the bandits. Let's get ready then. Well, you're not going anywhere. Who is going to protect the women and children? But we can't let the bandits butcher our guys. That stranger is going to help us. Looks like he's worth 20 of you anyway. You were an idiot to believe you're Andre the Blacksmith. Oh, it's Come again. safe. You'll get there in no time. And you dragged me here. And now we're all gonna die because of your stupid blacksmith. Shut your mouth. Andre's a saint. He got us all out. And lots of people before us. Just, he got us out just to be robbed by bandits. And how the hell was he supposed to know? Thank you. 
Thanks. Thanks, man. I thought... I thought I was done for. They took everyone still alive. The kids, the women... I'll move the rail car so that you can drive through. If you follow them, be careful in the technical tunnel. I heard the bandits talk about the trap there. Just rest here for now.
life you do.
Okay, okay, you can tell me the tale late. Right now we're entering the fairway and plotting a course to the base. The snow on the surface starts melting. The familiar rail cars are now joined with boats and fishermen. One of them appeared just in the nick of time. Soon we'll be docked at Venice. Pavel is most probably already there. 